Okay, okay, this is this is going to be a follow-up from a video I already did on uh, what's going on in the Haldivers 2 community, but I've seen a post on Twitter that's one of the absolute downright despicable posts I've ever seen in this situation calling pirate software racist. Okay, before I cover all of this, subscribe to the channel, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. We're, we're bringing you news that you probably aren't seeing elsewhere it's uh and there's a lot of craziness going on in the world of hell divers 2 all the way down to where pc users are notoriously racist apparently from sticks is stoned i have no clue who this guy is but apparently he's a switch playstation action games jrpg or uh physical media advocate hater uh, PSN, he's on PSN. So this is a PlayStation shill is what I get out of this entire thing. They play on console and they play a JRPGs. I mean, do you actually play games? Do you know how to play a real game? Uh, I, I'd like to see a little bit more, maybe, maybe out of there, but apparently the notorious racist PC community is throwing a hissy fit and pretending to care that Helldivers 2 will not be available in much of the global south. As a Nigerian, I do, I do hope this is remediated, but please don't let these PC terrorists weaponize people of color to further their own agendas where is this in pirate software's tweet he he talks about how sony lied and tricked and absolutely did deplorable things by banning this game in the big list of countries that are even listed here that you show right next to it but apparently, apparently showing this list of countries is now racist and terrorist? What kind of absolute dumb found low brow humor do you really have? It's, it, it's not even there. It's absolutely stupid. <laughs> I am racist, all right. I hate humans and, and I follow corpos. Yep, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he thinks this is a compliment. I don't think that's a compliment. It means you're following the corporations. You're shilling for the corporations, trying to run stuff. Uh, so are we really calling pirate software racist? No, I don't know the guy. I just know the audience he is championing. What, what, what is the audience that he is championing? What, what, what audience does pirate software have? Pirate software has built up his own audience in a very brilliant way on YouTube and on Twitch. He's not championing for anybody. He is championing for what he believes is the right thing to do. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is the type of thing. Uh, suddenly you get followers all over the internet and that makes you a racist. No, that makes you more interesting and entertaining to the global masses that find things entertaining. That doesn't make you a racist. It doesn't make you a damn terrorist for Christ's sakes. Uh, you can see the list of countries there. It's very obvious that they are just using them as a sticking point in their little beef about the network account requirements. Sony PlayStation tells these countries they are not allowed to use their system. And suddenly pointing that out is racist. What kind of absolute dumbfoundedness is this? It's absolutely ridiculous. And honestly, dude, th th that's very, very far from the truth. It's very far removed from the truth. It's to the point that, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't get it. No, these dudes were just destroying DEI two weeks ago. No, no. Uh, pirate software, as far as I know, isn't even linked into any of the stuff with DEI. Um, a, a lot of people really don't like what's going on with DEI. And suddenly being against retcons in video games is being racist or sexist. No, it's not. It's trying to stand up for what originally was there, originally created, and keeping the IPs at, in their pure form instead of them being diluted and twisted for evil <laughs> do, do we not see where this is going a lot of people seem to 
think otherwise suddenly and it's just it's all of a sudden in the last few years hmm, maybe it's an election year maybe everyone's trying to get on the same side as whatever political base they want to go against maybe that's actually what's going on and you're being used by these corporations for your your dollar they're, they're looking at you and going hmm they've got a different skin color maybe i can make some extra money on this by uh by changing the skin tone of somebody in a video game that's that's victimization that that's tokenization it's absolutely wrong and should not be done anyway i'm your podcast phoenix center shadow i'm signing off here have yourselves a great day don't forget to like and subscribe